Hey guys, so it is finally time for me to update you guys on my phone collection. You may notice this is a little bit less phones than I had last time, but you may also notice they're higher quality phones. They're more flagships and better phones in general, which I like because I rather quality over quantity, meaning I have better phones compared to like less better phones compared to more phones, but they're crappy. So yeah, that's what I have here. And we're going to get straight into it. Um, as normal, they're arranged by um, alphabetical order. And then in the actual brands, um, it's, what is it? It's like by age. It's like oldest to newest. So yeah, we're going to get started. Um, I don't know if I said this already. I have 58 phones here. So yeah, starting off, uh, we'll start at Apple. This is an iPod Touch 4th Gen, 8 gigabyte. Oh, it died. <laughs> yeah, iPod Touch 4th Generation, 8 gigabyte on iOS 6.1.6. This is an iPhone 4 on iOS, yeah, I, I won't unlock it, on iOS um, 7.1.2, 8 gigabyte Verizon. This is another iPhone 4, 8 gigabyte 7.1.2, although this one's on AT&T. So it has the antenna band at the top. And yeah, I'm going to shut all these down so they don't die. This is um, my, oh yeah, I got all of these from the target bin. Um, this is my iOS 6.1.6 iPhone 4S, works fully 16 gigabyte on AT&T. Um, got it from my grandparents. This is a iPhone 4S, 16 gigabyte on iOS 7.0.2. Got this in a phone lot. It was originally cracked in the black housing, but I swapped the housing. You've seen this phone for a while. I've had it forever. This is a iOS 8. Oh, it died also. Um, this is an iOS 8.1.3, I think, or something like that. iPhone 4S, 16 gigabyte on AT&T. Um, I found this at the AT&T bin. There was a video uploaded about it. Um, this is an iOS 9 iPhone 4S. It was originally an iOS 8, but it's only an 8 gigabyte, so I updated it. And I wanted an iOS 9 4S since I have every version besides iOS 5. Also, AT&T... Uh, actually, no, this one's Sprint, I think. Yeah, I think it's Sprint, but I found this at the AT&T bin. This is my iOS 8.4. Maybe, I think it's like 8.4.1 or something. Um, iPhone 5, 16 gigabyte. Although the only problem with this one is it has this weird issue where it just randomly reboots. Doesn't matter if the battery is fully charged, it just reboots itself. So I think it's a motherboard issue, but I don't know. I have it in this utter box. This is a iPhone 5. This is my favorite iPhone 5 because it's a slate. It's in an absolutely mint condition. It's on iOS, oh right. It's on iOS 10.3.4 and it's actually a 32 gigabyte. So it's a really good example of a... Um, of an iPhone 5. Let's go over here and go into settings just to show you. Yep, 10.3.4. It's I love this iPhone 5 a lot, and the battery life is actually really good on it. This is a parts iPhone 5, iCloud, iCloud locked, 32 gigabyte, I think. Uh, I found this in the AT&T bin. Oh, yeah, that I also found in the AT&T bin all on the same day. This is my iPhone 6, 16 gigabyte on, I think, like, I think it's a older version of iOS... 12 but i will check uh yeah space gray mint condition 16 gigabyte at&t model yeah um i was 12.4 so not fully up to date i probably won't even update it at this point moving on this is a another um iphone 6 although this one's gold 16 gigabyte fully up to date 12.4.3 i think or no it's not fully up to date now because 12.4.4 came out but yeah, 16 gigabyte, found this in the AT&T bin, also an AT&T model. I put a brand new battery in it, so now the battery is at 100% health, so that's nice. I like this one over my Space Gray one for some reason. I don't know why. This is my iPhone SE, 32 gigabyte on Metro PCS. This one's running iOS 13.0, I think. Um, yeah, 13.0, 32 gigabyte, and I'm not going to update it, considering there's a large chance that the iPhone SE is not getting iOS 14, but if it does... I'll update it to 14, maybe, but I'll leave it on 14.0. That's not getting updated otherwise. This is my iPhone 6S, 64 gigabyte on AT&T. I found this at the Target bin, got it bypassed. Well, not bypassed, but like the owner removed their iCloud. But, oh, it died. But yeah, it works fully, working touch ID and everything. It just has some issues, like the back camera's kind of shaky, and I don't know if you can hear, but the volume button's kind of wonky. And the speaker's rattly, but yeah, it works fully besides that. This is another 64 gigabyte iPhone 6 S. I got this under trailer Jake Carroll. This thing has been swapped into so many housings and stuff. 
Um, still works fully on iOS. Oh, that one's running iOS 12.4.4, I think. Or no, I think it's on like 12.4. I haven't updated it to 13, but, um, oh. Yeah, 13.2, 64 gigabyte. Uh, this one's a Sprint model, so, yeah, that sucks, but this one's a pretty good phone. I just like my other 6S more, which is this one. I got this recently in a trade with Tech Collector. This is a, another 64 gigabyte iPhone 6S. All my 6S are 64 gigabytes. This one's a gold one. It has the best battery out of all of them. It's carrier unlocked on iOS 13.3, I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah, 13.1.3. I'm probably not going to update this one either. Works fully. Um, like I said, unlocked. And this one's actually a mint condition one. I have it in this case. So yeah, that's nice. This I also got in that True Tech Collector. This is a... I forget his YouTube channel name. This is a 64 gigabyte iPhone 6S Plus. It works fully. The only problem is the cracked screen, although I ordered a screen for it. So that's not an issue at all. It is a... Or the only problem with it is besides the screen is the battery health. It's at 78%, so could be better, but... I like this phone a lot. It's going to replace my 6S, which I um, basically use a lot. This is a parts iPhone 7. Um, I just need a screen for it. It's a 128 AT&T model. Got it in the AT&T bin. Um, I don't know if the battery is the issue or the charging port is the issue, but um, with the stock battery and the stock charging port, it doesn't charge. It does absolutely nothing. But when I test it with another battery, boots right up. I haven't tested it with another charging port, and I forgot to test the charging port. When I had the battery in, but the charging port, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of its kind of screwed up, so I feel like it's a charging port issue. Um, this I have in this battery case because it needed to charge, and it looks like the battery case died, so I'm just going to take it out. This is my 128GB um, iPhone 7. This is not my old main phone. I'm also recording on my old main phone. It's an iPhone 7 128GB on iOS 12.4, or no, 13.2, I think, I don't know. Some version of 13, that's all I know. Um... This is the one I found at AT&T a while back. You may remember I put the white screen on it from that one. Yeah, this one works fully. No issues at all. I'm going to find the battery health. Or not battery health. Um, it just has a broken home button because I, it broke in the repair. It's kind of a weird story. But yeah, 13.1.3. I don't know if you could even see that. But yeah, this is the main iPhone 7 that I use because it has a good screen. A note, the screen protector is cracked, not the actual screen. And then this is my main phone as of right now, um, although I plan to get an iPhone 11 Pro or normal 11, I don't know yet. This is a iPhone 7 Plus, 60, f or no, not 64, 32 gigabyte on, or no, this one's carry unlocked. I bought it straight from Apple. It's running, I, I'm not going to show it because I don't want to show the serial number, but um, it's on 13.3, fully up to date. Uh, it's actually, the battery health is at 98 and everything. It's a really nice phone. Oh, I'm not going to shut that off. I'm going to throw it on my bed because I got to use it later. But yeah, it's a really nice phone. All right, moving on to Alcatel's. This is my only Alcatel at this point. This is a Alcatel One Touch Evolve or something. I don't even know the name of this. It's on Android 5.1, 8 gigabyte on AT&T. Found this in the Target bin. It's a pretty crappy phone, but I just keep it because why not? Now on to CoolPad. This is my CoolPad Revel Plus. Uh, the original Revel, there's like, they're on the Revel 3 now or something. Um, yeah, this is a nice phone. I'm not gonna show that notification. Yeah, it's a really nice phone. I don't use it as much as I should. I even got a screen protector for it, but 32 gigabyte on Android 7.1.1. And T-Mobile, of course. Only issue is the Batty SN, but I bought it like that for $30 on eBay. This is my Google Pixel 2 XL. Um, it's running Android 10, 64 gigabyte carrier unlocked. Um, let me try to find, to show it's cracked. This only issue with this phone is it's slightly cracked, as you can see right there. But yeah, I love this phone a lot. Uh, I don't use it as much as I should. I really need to start using it more because it is an amazing phone. I would still suggest these things in 2020 now because, yeah, they're just great phones. This is an LG Lucky. Um, yeah, because now we're on to LG. Works fully Android 4.4.4 like all of them. Got it in the target bin. I had to jerry-rig a LG Optimus battery into it because it didn't come with a battery. But besides that, works fully. This is my LG G5. Um, unfortunately, this phone's LCD broke. It had multiple phones sitting on top of it, and I guess that just killed the LCD. <laughs> so that really sucks, but um, yeah, besides that, it still works. I just want to get an LCD before it and a battery, because the battery is not in it right now. It needs a new battery. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a restoration video on this phone. This is my LG G6, 32GB uh, on, I'm just going to do face unlock, 
on AT&T. Got this under trade with Tech that YT. Oh yeah, I bought that on eBay. Um, yeah, I got this under trade with Tech that YT. Works fully still, just the power button. You have to like, here, I'll show you what you have to do. You have to push down on the right side of the back and then push the power button. I'm trying to get it to shut off. I think I did that wrong. <laughs> uh, well, I'll just leave it on for now. Um, yeah, moving on. This is my LG V30 Plus, 128 gigabyte on Android 8. Um, it's a Sprint model, but no bad ESN. Bought this on eBay for pretty cheap. Works fully. I love this phone so much. It's Honestly, I'd suggest this phone. It's a great phone just to use around the house. Although I should really use it more. I don't use it as much as I should. But yeah, it's uh, 128 gigabyte, like I said. So that's really nice. That's my highest capacity Android phone storage wise. This is a Moto X, custom green, mint green Moto X. Running Android 5.1. Oh, the battery died. That's why it's off. But works fully on Verizon, so probably carrier unlocked. Yeah. This is a Moto E 2nd Gen, 8GB on Android 5.1. Um, this phone works fully as well. I have Nova Launcher on it. I put Nova Launcher on a lot of my like more budgety phones, just so it runs better, you know. But um, Or just phones that have slow UIs. I like this phone. It's a white one, Verizon. I think Verizon? Probably. Most of them are Verizon. Or maybe it's Sprint, one of the two. This is my custom Moto X2 with the like grayish brown back and the yellow speakers. Um, works fully still. I love this phone so much. Got a tempered glass screen protector for it along with a lot of these phones. And yeah, it just looks really nice now with the um, screen protector. But yeah, it's on Android 6. Really nice phone. This is my Moto Z Droid. Um, I'm probably never going to get rid of this phone. I love it so much. It just looks, it just looks so nice. And it's a great phone. It's running Android 8. Um, if this thing had a better battery, like if it was a Moto Z Play but still had the same processor, yeah, see, the battery's dead. I would probably main this phone. It's just a really nice phone, even on Android 8. It's carrier unlocked. I bought it on Mercari. And you may remember these two, or these three I got in Target in the bin. Moving on, this is my um, Moto E5 Play. It has a Cricut back cover now because I really like the blue back. And yeah, still works fully. Got this at Target. It's a Metro PCS model. Unfortunately, it has a bad ESN, so I can't unlock it. But besides that, it works fully. I don't use it much, but when I do, I like it. Moving on, I got this uh, uh, I got this yesterday, actually. I bought it on eBay. It's a Moto G6 Play. It's running Android 9, Sprint model. Only issue is slight crack, crack, in, the slight crack in the screen down there. It's really not that bad of a crack. I'll just put a screen protector over it or something, but yeah, I use this phone for like video calling and stuff like that. So yeah, I like this phone a lot. This one's on Android 9, like my unlike my other one, so that's also cool. Speaking of my other one, this is my Moto G6 Forge, but it's the same thing as the Play. Both of them are 16 gigabytes, but this one's on Android 8 still, so that's kind of, or no, it's not cool. This thing never even got the update to Android 9, but yeah, this one, I... I honestly wasted so much money on this. I bought it for like a hundred something dollars and I can't even main it like I tried to because I did not know Cricut phones don't work with AT&T. I thought since it was a Cricut phone, it would because um, AT&T owns Cricut. But no, I was wrong. So I wasted a lot of money on this phone and I don't even use it. Still nice, still nice phone. This is my um, Moto Z3 Play. You may remember I bought this on eBay. I just made a video about it. A while back but yeah I like this phone a lot also it's running Android 9 it's just overall a really good phone and I would main it if it wasn't on Sprint but yeah I really like the phone I just don't like the power button on the left is weird but I like the placement of the fingerprint scanner right there moving on oh I forget the name of this phone um it's just this little Samsung Android 4 phone it's pretty cool I've always like I've wanted an older Samsung phone like this so it works it's on Android 4.1.2 and yeah, it's just kind of cool. It's a Boost mobile phone, which is even cooler because they're like old Boost mobile phone. Oh uh, yeah, works fully. I got it in the target bin. This I like, also got in the target bin. This is a Samsung Galaxy S4. Verizon 16 gigabyte white model on Android 5.1. Works fully also. Um, I have Nova Launcher on it because this is the S4 I actually use. Uh, I have a screen protector on it and everything. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. But yeah. Really nice phone, uh, even still kind of fast in 2019 or 2020. So yeah, this is my other Note S4. This is the mint one. I got this in the Wegmans bin. Uh, also works fully. Also has a tempered glass screen protector. This one just doesn't have that great of a battery, but 
it's my better example of an S4, so I don't use it. I just have a collection for collection purposes. All right, now we're, oh no, we're still on Samsung. This is my Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy Core Prime. Got this in the Target bin. I never made a video or anything about it because it's just a Core Prime. I don't really care. It's absolutely mint. Um, the only issue is it's slightly water damaged, but I like this color, the gray color over the white one. So yeah. Moving on, this is my absolutely mint Samsung Galaxy S5. I love this phone so much because it just looks so nice being mint. It ha even has a glass screen protector now. Um, yeah, works fully on Android 6. Um, it's a pretty nice phone. I have no launcher on it too. I don't use it as much as I should. And I remember when I found it, the charging port wasn't working for some reason. Well, the charging port decided to start working again, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. As long as it works, it works. Uh, this is my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I found this in the Target bin in, uh, in Pittsburgh. Works fully, Verizon model, so it's probably carrier unlocked. Although it doesn't have AT&T bands, so I couldn't main it even if I wanted to. But yeah, really nice phone as well. Android 6, mint condition. I have a screen protector on it now, and I don't use this phone as much as I should, but still a great phone. Next is my Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, 32 gigabyte, this is my little brother's old phone. Oh no, yeah, no, 32 gigabyte. It's on Android 7, fully up to date, and I have no launcher on this one too. But yeah, Android 7, I have a black theme on it. And yeah, it's a really nice phone actually. And even the battery life is good, which I'm kind of surprised about. Uh, T-Mobile unlocked, because uh, it was able to get unlocked. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. This is the last phone I got in the trade with Tech Collector. Um, yeah, I really like this phone as well. Or not on Instagram, like his username is the Tech Collector Insta, and then he's the other Liam. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this phone has a tempered glass screen protector. It's a 64 gigabyte on Android 6. Unfortunately, it's a Sprint model. Otherwise, I would main it, maybe. <laughs> it even has a pretty good battery, from what I can tell. But yeah, I'm going to use this phone a lot. It's so nice. And I got a back glass for it because it did not have one when he gave it to me. But, yeah. Really nice phone. I love the design, design of it. I wish it was either a white one or a blue one because I like those colors more. But, still nice. Moving on, this is a Samsung Galaxy Express 3. Got this in the Target bin. Works fully. Battery's just kind of, eh. Because, like, so it, the battery percent is not accurate. Um, I tried charging it earlier. Uh, it died and then turned on and said it was on 40%. So the battery's kind of iffy. But, yeah, still works. Uh, AT&T model. Well, of course. Moving on, this is a Samsung Galaxy On5. I got this a long time ago in the Wegmans bin. I got it, like, last year, around last Christmas. Um, yeah, it works fully. 8GB uh, on T-Mobile, although I unlocked it, so I can min it if I wanted to. Don't plan to, though, because it's not a great phone. This is my Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 um, Dual SIM, International Unlocked, 16GB. Still on Android 6. These things did get Android 8, but I just didn't update it because I didn't want to. And it's a really nice phone. It even has a screen protector now. The only thing is the screen's kind of scratched, as you might be able to tell, but... The screen protector's on it, so I don't even feel the scratches. But yeah, really, really nice phone. I This phone still runs so fast in 2020, especially on Android 6. Moving on, this is my Samsung Galaxy S7. You may have noticed I got a case and screen protector for it. I got it in the trade with Tech.YT. Fully working phone on Android 6. I'll even prove it. Or well, I can just... Okay, apparently it doesn't want to swipe down. But yeah, I got this case and screen protector combo for it. Yeah, Android 6.0.1. The only problem is it's on T-Mobile, and he's pretty sure it has a bad ESN, although I'm uncertain about that. Moving on, this is my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. I've also had this phone forever. Works fully on Android 8, just has an LCD line. When I got it, it was on Android 7. I really wish I didn't update it because it was much faster on that. But yeah, I still really like the design of this phone. I want to get a black one or a blue one without an LCD line. I got that on eBay. This is a Samsung Galaxy S7 Active. Uh, it's on Android 8, fully for working. I got it on eBay for 40, or no, I think I paid like $20 for this phone, but yeah, works fully, just has one LCD line. I even have a glass screen protector on it now. So yeah, basically mint, it's mint condition on the screen, but not on the back. The back is, eh, it's kind of scuffed up, but not horrible. I just wanted another S7 Active and not in the ugly gold color. <laughs> 
Moving on, this is my, um, the, the gray color, Samsung Galaxy S8, 64 gigabyte, still on Android 8, not updating it because I like Android 8 on this phone. I just like this version of Samsung UI, especially with the cool nav buttons. I think these ones look really cool. And yeah, overall, I really like this phone, no issues at all with it. And I got a tempered glass screen protector for it. And tech.yt has... I don't know, he has like a fetish or something for this phone because literally every time I'm on a group call, like a video call with him, he harasses me to show it because he loves the look of it with the screen protector. So shout out to him. Mm. But yeah, I got in a trade with him. So yeah, I really like this phone. I don't use it much. I really need to. And then this is probably my favorite Samsung phone of all time, along with the Note 9. This is my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I wish it was a blue one. It just looks so nice. But I love this phone so much. So big. The battery life is pretty good. It's such a nice phone, 6 gigs of RAM, Snapdragon 835. My mom actually has a blue Note 8. Uh, she bought it brand new, uh, internationally unlocked. This one is on AT&T. But yeah, um, I love the Note 8 so much. It is such a great phone, even in 2019. I highly suggest it. The only issue with it is it's slightly cracked, but really not that bad. You don't even see the cracks when the screen's on. And I have a screen protector on it. And this solder box. I really like this solder box. Alright, moving on, this is my Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit. You may remember I found this at Target. I Google, I bypassed the Google Lock and updated it to Android 9 because I did not know this phone got Android 9, and it did, and it actually runs pretty good on this phone. So yeah, I really like this phone. I love the design with the cool nav buttons once again, but not on the screen. Track phone model, like all of them. Uh, my little brother actually mains one of these now, but his is stuck on Android 8, so ha. Huh? <laughs> Because he never activated it, so it didn't get an update. Moving on, this is probably my most used phone besides my main phone. It's my Samsung Galaxy S9. I've beaten the crap out of this phone. Uh, it's cracked there, like all over the place, and then down there. The battery life's kind of meh. Uh, it's from my usage and then Jake Carroll's usage because he had it for a while and he didn't treat the battery so well. And yeah, but I really like this phone. I use it so much. I overuse it, honestly. I even have a screen protector on it, a plastic one, but... It's still a screen protector, just so I can't feel the cracks. But yeah, um, I like this phone a lot. It's in really bad condition on the frame, but it's not cracked on the back. And I even got a new spec case for it because I obliterated my old one. So I'm going to throw that up on my bed so I can use it later. And now for the last three phones, these are the ZTEs. Starting off, this is a ZTE Majesty Pro. Uh, really crappy phone. Even new, it was a really crappy phone. Um, works fully. Got it in the target bin once again. And yeah, I never use this thing. It just sits. I hate it. <laughs> well, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. This is my ZTE Z5C. Fully works on Android 7. Uh, I bought this brand new at Target. Paid way too much money for it. Even $40 was too much for this phone. Even though it, I like the design of this phone a lot. I don't know. Something about it just looks really nice. But yeah, I want to get a screen protector for this phone, although I have not yet. And yeah. Um, this is probably my favorite budget phone, budget-ish phone for when it came out. This is my ZTE Blade Z Max. It just looks really nice, especially on the back, if you can see that back texture. But yeah, I even got a screen protector for this phone. I really would main this phone again if I had a newer processor and a better camera. And maybe Android 8. It's still on Android 7, but the battery life is amazing. Even the processor in it is pretty good. Snapdragon 425, I think. Yeah, Snap... Oh, 435. Octa-Core... Just a really nice phone overall, and I would main it. It's unlocked. I got it from my friend Colin. So, yeah. Um, that is my complete phone collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. <laughs> and I really hope you guys, um, yeah, want to see more content in the future. I am at, like, 407 subscribers. We're so close to hitting 500. Thank you guys so much for that. If we can get to 500 soon, that would be great. Um, I don't know what I would do for 500 subscribers, but um, maybe I'll... I can't do a giveaway, of course, but I'll do some sort of special video or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a drop test because I have a few things in mind I could do a drop test on. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. And if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe and yeah.